Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will see a problem on homogeneous differential equations. So, we will see here the solutions of homogeneous differential equation. A problem is solve d cube y upon dx cube minus 2 times d square y upon dx square plus 4 times dy by dx minus 8y equal to 0. Solution. So, here the given differential equation I will take it as it is that is d cube y upon dx cube minus 2 times d square y upon dx square plus 4 times dy by dx minus 8y equal to 0. So, here uh, this uh, d by d, uh, d by d cube by dx cube d square by dx square and d by dx I want to replace by an operator as we know that put put d is equal to d by dx. So, if you put d is equal to d by dx, so above equation will become d cube y minus 2 times d square y plus 4 times dy minus 8y equal to 0 or take d common among this. So, it will become d cube minus 2d square plus 4d minus 8 of y common I have taken equal to 0. You can see that the given differential equation is homogeneous because equal to we have 0. If it is not equal to 0 means we have some value here at that time it is non-homogeneous differential equation. So, here this is a homogeneous differential equation. So, from this we can find the roots and that root will be uh, converted in terms of complementary function and uh, the solution of this is nothing but the given uh, uh, complementary function is nothing but the final solution here. So, let us see how to proceed here. So, here so auxiliary equation is now auxiliary equation is auxiliary equation is means inside the bracket what term we have. So, that term will take it in terms of m. So, instead of d cube we will write m cube minus 2 m square plus 4 m minus 8 equal to 0. So, same thing in terms of d. So, once we write auxiliary equation we will re rename d cube as m cube, d square as m square and d as m. So, just remember m will be replaced by what here? So, D will be interchanged as M. So, that so from this we can find a root. So, this is a cubic equation. So, for this cubic equation, so we go forward here roots of this. So, I will use a calculator to get a cubic equation. So, let us see here. So, cal calculator work I will show later. So, just now uh, it, it is uh, go for manual here. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 terms. I will make uh, this uh, one pair and this is another pair. So, among the first uh, pair, so I will take m square common. So, if you take m square common among this, so we have left m minus 2 plus among these two, we will take uh, 4 common. So, it is m minus 4 2 is 8. So, it will become 2. So, if you open the bracket, you should get back the previous equation. So, now you can see that this is uh, in the form of uh, uh, simplification. So, we have m minus 2, m minus 2 common bracket. So, therefore, we can write this one as take m minus 2 common. So, m minus 2, then left part is m square plus 4 equal to 0. So, once we get this, so equate this bracket uh, equal to 0, that is m minus 2 equal to 0 or m square plus 4 equal to 0. So, therefore, so from this we will find the value of m. So, from this which implies so m equal to 2 or from this we will get m square equal to minus 4 or m is equal to if you take a square root on both, uh, both sides. So, square and root get cancelled plus or minus square root of minus 4. 
so therefore so m is equal to plus or minus so square root of minus sign remember so square root of minus 1 will be i so therefore square root of minus sign will be i and square root of 4 is 2 so therefore so we got so it is m cube so if it is m cube we want three values of m so one value so plus one side one sign and minus one so therefore we have to write this one as the roots of auxiliary equation is the roots of the auxiliary equation i'll write in short a e r r 2 then plus or minus 2i so count it 1 with plus sign 1 with minus sign another so 2 and 1 total 3 so it is highest power is 3 so therefore we got 3 roots so you just observe here so if roots are here real as well as imaginary so this is the real part so if it is real part so complementary function is given by therefore the complementary function is The complementary function is you see that so yc is equal to so c1 e raised to so just see that our our equation is with respect to x if it is with respect to x at that time e raised to that 2 into x plus so this is a complex root so but real part is missing so therefore c1 is over then here e raised to 0 into x because the real part is 0 into bracket because of the complex cos and sine will come so cos of 2x plus so c, uh, so c1 is over so c2 you have to multiply here so c2 into cos of 2x plus c3 into sine of 2x so therefore the yc on the simplified form is so c1 is equal to c1 e raised to 2x plus e raised to 0 x is e raised to 0 e raised to 0 is 1 leave it so c2 cos of 2x plus c3 sine of 2x so this is a complementary function but we need a general solution or it is called as complete solution so therefore therefore the general solution is the general solution is that is y is equal to yc so which implies y is equal to y what is yc here c1 e raised to 2x plus c2 cos of 2x plus c3 sine of 2x so in this way we need to solve the given differential equation so the major part is the roots so how to find a roots i have shown you this is manually so if you want to see this uh, root in the form of uh, how to in the uh, by using the calculator let's see now now by using the calculator i want to show this uh, 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 roots here for this so go for mode then go for option phi that is equation phi so you can see that it is, it is cubic equation so in this cubic equation is of option 4 so press 4 then coefficient of m cube is 1 coefficient of m square is minus 2 coefficient of m is 4 then the constant is minus 8 equal to sign and see first root that is m first root is 2 we getting here so therefore we got 2 fine and if you press one more time equal to sign plus 2i means among this plus 2i press one more root so minus 2i okay so plus 2 uh, plus 2 we got then plus 2i and minus 2i total 3 root so if you, you can use the calculator and you can once you uh, write this equation immediate of that you can write this root directly with the, with the help of calculator and you can go for the final solution so in this way we need to simplify a problem based on this uh, root uh, means um, the differential equation uh, under this homogeneous uh, solution so you know that for homogeneous solution the complementary fu function itself is nothing but a general solution